and drown themselves one of these days. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Weeping at the grave of one of your darling grandsons. The history repeating itself, wouldn't it now? Be like burying Gabriel all over again. You think? If one of my sons was drowned, then maybe you could explain how my twin was lost. Well, mother, nothing will ever explain that. Nothing. Oh, well, just stop such nonsense. I don't know what you are talking about. You are so dark, Portia. A waste word. I read soft text, mother. Words thrown by accident. Phrases covered over. Sentences unfinished. And I know the topography of your mind, as well as I know every inch and ditch and drip of Bellman Valley. So don't you come in here and put a death wish on my sons just because you couldn't save your own. My sons will be fine, but I do nothing. I leave them alone. And no mark is better than the black one. You've never arrived me, mighty me, O Gabriel. In such a bleak and blank old way. You would have been 30 today as well. Sometimes, I think only half of me is left. The worst half. Do you know the only reason I married Raphael? Not because you and Daddy say I should. Not because he's rich. I care nothing for money. No. The only reason I marry Raphael is because of his name. And Angel's name. Then it's Gabriel's. And I think the osmosis, or just pure wishing, that one may take on the quality of the other. But Raphael, it's not Gabriel, and never will be. And I dreamed about him again last night. It was one of them dreams, as it's so real. You think it's actually happening. Gabriel has come for dinner here, and after the dinner, he got up to leave. And I say, Gabriel, stay for the weekend. But Gabriel the bird of the politeness for me and Robert. And I said, Gabriel, it's me, Portia. You're twain. Don't be polite. There's no need with me. And then Gabriel turned and smiled. And I knew he's going to stay. And my heart flew open and started to falling out of my chest as happily in dreams. We were so alike, won't we, mother? Let's bet. Let me tell you a part in the cradle. And out of the room, holding hands. When God is handing out salts, he must got my and Gabriel's mixed up. Either that. Or he gave us just the one between us. And he went into the river with him. Oh, Gabriel, you have no right to discard me so, to flow me in this world as I was born flossom. You have no right. Stop it, stop it, stop it right now. Let's enough of that. If your father hears you, control yourself. If you pass your day like any normal woman, then would be none of bliss. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Do leave my chair alone. You will destroy my grips. Marianne, do something with that one. She has me demanded. Why didn't you leave her in a car? Don't just die, Jesus. You all right there, Mrs. Scully? I am Mrs. Scully. Happy birthday, Portia. Birthday's lot of follies. Told you, mother, not to be cursing. 
And I told you, I spent the first 80 years of my life holding my tongue. Okay, I'm writing into a pillow. And if God sees fit to give me another 80, there will be spent speaking my mind, fall or fail. Your mother and me, Georgia, said a thing in what Georgia liked for her birthday. And we rag our brains, didn't we, Marian? We did. There's nothing the girl needs nor wants was the only conclusion we could come to. Sly is having trouble. Helping with money again. What's the problem we he learned it? Swear to Jesus, if hell were free, you would go there. So then and pair a small attribute to have it. Is there anything you want, Persia? No. See? Told you. Nothing the girl needs nor wants, Marianne. So you just bring your sauce. It's in the dress we will take yesterday. Champagne with black belts. Told you, we should got it for her slide. Then we will get it for the girl, Marianne. Okay, we will get it. I want to go home. Not yet, mother. If I had the power of my legs again, why won't you leave me by my own anymore? Afraid I will fall into a fire? Just wanted to lie up against a ranch listening to a calm John McCormick. Do you think, would you let me? Has this hour, Sly. You know where the door is. If you can't stand aside, Anyone here to join me? See. Make yourself at home, Daddy. I'll make his thing as your own daughter hasn't managed to. See you talking to the Italian today down by the Belmont River. Spying on me again. Going about my business mending fences on the shallow side. Portia, what are you up to with him? No good, that fellow. Where any came from? The Count! The Count! Put on the Count! The Elven! I'm talking to you, girl. He knew Gabriel. Gabriel! Forget Gabriel. Not a natural child that should me and your mother have. Forget Gabriel? It's everywhere, Daddy. Everywhere. This is not a corner of any of the forty fields. Don't remind of Gabriel. His net is in his stalls that swims over down the farm. The cows bowl spring from the barn on frosty winter nights. The never, never tells me that. Once he's here, and now he's gone. And you ask me to forget him. When I lie down, at the end of another impossible day, I pray for the time. Dad, you don't understand anything at all. Don't talk down to me, you. I've worked long and hard for you to be where you are today. Built Belmont Farm up from 20 acres of bug and scrub to one of the finest farms in the county with their hands. It doesn't happen just like that. I do think Raphael Coughlin would look at you twice if there was a land and money going with you. And for you to hang around the likes of Thomas Hallion. Sure that Hallions wouldn't get out of bed in the morning to milk the cows. Scrubbers, that's all they are. You wouldn't know a heifer from a jackass. Dad, I was only talking to them. More than talking, I think. I'm telling you, put a harder on that wayward ass of you. I'm sick of him. Skulking at me behind hedges and ditches and sconces. I'm a grown woman, and what I did is none of your concern. Don't you walk away while I'm talking to you. And it's every bit of my concern when it comes to that scaldy name. Don't you know everyone's watching? Been watching us this years. Where's your ethics, girl? Your morality and your ethics that me and your mother tried to teach you. 